Ladies and gentlemen, live on the Fuse UK, it's the one and only, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man too sweet to be sour. He is your friend, he is my friend, but he's not the friend behind the person standing behind you. Luke Yes, people, what's happening? Nice one for coming back to the Fuse UK. It's much appreciated as always. Got a great guest on the show tonight with an impressive BKFC 55 debut. Mint win against a top opponent in Mason Shaw. It's none other than Matthew the Hammer Hudson. What's happening, bro? You good? He's a mate. He good, yeah. Finally got on eventually. <laughs> Yeah, we got there in the end, mate. I think it's lagging a bit. It's taking a bit for me to get through, so bear with us, people, with a pause. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I was wondering if we could start... I might move, this. actually. I don't want to move. The signal might be a bit shit here. It's, it's up to you, mate. I'll move. Hang on. Yes, Rick. Top BKFC debut for Matty. Tough guy. Big shout. Rick. Right, this should be better. This should be better now. Sweet, mate. Is that better now, go. yeah? That's no, better. I can hear you now. <laughs> I was wondering if we could start, start this podcast, mate, by talking about the preparation that you'd had for this fight with Mason Shaw. Did you, would you say that you'd had a very good camp for it? Oh, mate, the camp were absolutely spot on, 100%. Um, the effort we went into it, um, no missed sessions, everything were on point, you know. And we knew we had to work like that, mate. You know, we knew Mason Shaw were a, were a big threat, a big name, um, you know. And, and obviously that hard work, sorry, that hard work had to be put in, you know. Um, and that's exactly what we did. Um, and, uh, you know, it showed on the night, mate, you know. And... Uh, Everything, all the hard work, all the dark places I've been in in camp, um, you know, came off on the night. That's what I mean, because with you knowing that you had a hard fight in Mason Shaw, because you know Mason Shaw, mate, back from the BKB days, and that is a proper contender. I do, mate? yeah, yeah. Fighter. Did Absolutely, you, uh, mate, you know, we were going to... We, 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 we were supposed to cross paths a few years... We were supposed to cross paths a few years ago... Um, and COVID got in way, so it never came off. Um, and obviously, I knew, I knew back then, mate, it was a, it was a big name back then. You know, um, you're talking what three years ago, maybe. Um, it was a big name then. So you know, three years down the line, you know, we both come on in his game. You know, he was saying he was in his prime after his last fight for BKFC. Um, you know, and uh, I do believe, mate, that I am just getting to my prime. As old as I am. That's the best performance and the best I've ever looked in my entire life, you know. Um, and I've put some good performances on over the years, you know, my MMA, you know, my bare knuckle, and my boxing, everything, mate. You know, I've put some good performances in, but that is by far on that kind of stage as well, the, the best performance uh, uh, against such, you know, a, a, a highly ranked uh, named BKB fighter, yeah. Yeah, and I, I bet you didn't expect, obviously, the fight to, to go the way it did. Like that, because it was quite quick, really, wasn't it? It was very quick. Um, yeah, I was very surprised. I thought, I knew we were going to come out strong, you know. And obviously, the first 30 seconds, you're kind of feeling each other out, you know, and seeing who's got what. Um, but obviously, when I dropped him in the first round, I kind of knew it was going to come out swinging in second, you know, and I think, I can't even remember the shot, to be fair, and I've watched it back, sorry, I'm, I'm absolutely full of it, since I've finished five, and I uh, <laughs> had a bit of time to myself, and a bit of time off, mate, I was full of coal, it's awful, um, but yeah, um, you know, obviously, who wants to drop him in that first round then, um, I can't remember the shot, but obviously, it, it were it were the clinch and the uppercut in the eye, you know, Um and that's that's right up my street, mate. It's my game, that um, you know. I, I can box at range, 
but I can also come inside, you know, and if, if I get inside in BKFC, mate, and clinch it, then it's good night. It's as simple as that. And how did you feel at the weight? Do you have much of a weight cut, you, Matty, at uh, cruiserweight? Um, when I fought at 93 before, um, I've been walking about 100 kilo. Um, and, you know, obviously... The, the the weight cut to get to 93 from that it's not too bad but obviously i like to have my fight camps as more of a um more of a, a you know a structural camp for my fighter not so much as, as a weight cut camp you know you end up focusing more on your weight than you do actually focusing on your strategy and you know your game plan um so this one you know, the weight came off really easy, to be fair. I was quite surprised. I mean, I've had some tough weight cuts over years, my MMA days and that. Bad, bad cuts. Um, you know, and I was were, I were quite surprised at how quick it came off and how, how well I was looking. You know, it's, a, it's the best shape I've ever been in, in my life. Um, and the weight dropped down to 90 kilo quite easily. Um, and then obviously cut, cut the last two kilo, um, you know, to get to 88 and waiting on on the dot you know um so so yeah excuse me it won't it won't that bad to be honest um it was that good of a camp mate and, and that, that good of a weight cut um uh, that there is talks in coming down a class so um yeah we will see <laughs> oh tasty tasty <laughs> so i've noticed mate i've seen you fight twice live now and I've noticed when you were walking out to yeah. a fight, mate, you look psyched up to the fucking high nines. You look like you're going to murder somebody, mate. Like, is there a certain yeah. thing you'll do to get in that sort of mind place, preparation, like when you're in the changing rooms in the back, or is it just something that comes to you when you walk out? Um, there's a, I've been speaking with coach tonight because I've, uh, I've gone back training. Um, and he, he said to me, he says, you know, he said... I'm speaking to you now, he said, you've just like done 10 rounds on pads, he says with me, you know, he says, uh, speaking to you now, he says, you're such a nice guy, he said, you're down to earth, he said, I've a lot of respect for you and I said, and he says, I can see it, he says, when we come out of them changing rooms and you are getting on that stage to walk out to that thing, he says, it's like a just switch, he says, you're just a fucking animal, he says, it just turns, and I'm like, yeah, I said, you know, that's pretty much all it is, you know, and what it is, mate, it's in my own head, you know, um, and all the preparation, all the confidence, all the hard work, all the dark places I've been in, that all comes to an end. And it's that that, you know, obviously gets you in that kind of zone, you know, ready to tear somebody's head off. No matter who it is that's in that ring, you know, you're going to get the same aggression. You're going to get the same monster, the same animal. Don't care who you are. Um and, that, and that's it, mate. And that's 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 exactly what I bring to a fight, you know. Um, I'm quite an exciting fighter, um, and I do, you know, I can do it all. I can stand and bang. I can uh, I can box at range. I can be nice and tight, you know. I can I can do it all. Um, but the bottom line is, I like to scrap. I have a big heart, and I like to fight. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, not a lot of not a lot of fighters, mate, have a big heart. This is the thing, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, you might have seen some of my fights before from the past. You know, I've had half me, half me ear hanging off. Me, you know, I've had my eye hanging off. You know what I mean? And I'll still keep going. You know, until that towel comes in or doctor stops it. You know, I'll still keep going. You know, and I'll die in that ring. It's as simple as that. You know, um, you ain't gonna stop somebody that don't want to quit, mate. And I don't want to quit. You know what I mean? I won't quit. That's it. I think that's the main attribute you need. Like, the main thing you need in bare-knuckle fighting is a heart because you can be the most skillful fighter in the world, but if you take a bat and you don't like it, you, you're fucking done, aren't you? Where if you're hitting someone that's in the it, game... Yeah. <laughs> this is it, you see. You know, it's, it's different, mate. You know, it's... Uh, uh, you know, we can all go uptown, can't we, and have 10 pints and have a, have a scrap uptown, you know what I mean? You don't feel it here up morning. Um but obviously you're in the ring there where somebody's trying to take your head off as much as you are theirs and it's, you're sober and, you know, it's a skill set and that, but you get a crack on jaw, mate, or on eye and it fucking hurts. You know what I mean? It hurts. <laughs> um, you know, not many people like that. 
You know what I mean? Whereas, I mean, I'm not being funny, mate, but you can't make this any worse than what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'll go five rounds with anybody. You know what I mean? I've been cut. I've been broken. You know, you ain't going to give me what I already had. So at the end of the day, mate, I've nothing to fucking lose. You know, and I'll be in there till the death. That's it. It's exciting times, mate, as well. Like, with the likes of you turning over, it's just building the, building the divisions more. But how did you find on the night, mate, when you were actually there, you turned up and you... It is, the that's it. Production. Sorry, mate, I lost you then. I was just saying there, on the actual night when you turned up and you're seeing the production, the lights and everything, mm -hmm. what did you think? It was amazing, mate. You know, when we got there... Obviously, we were the first ones in. There's nobody else there. It's quiet. Um, you know, you're looking at the ring. I actually got in the ring. Um, you know, I had him move around. It's quite daunting because it's circular, you see. Um, you kind of think that you've nowhere to back them into. You know, you've got you've no corner or anything to back them into. Um, so I had to walk around it and move around and, uh, you know, just, just kind of sussing it out, you know, and obviously looking up into empty stands and empty seats and that and then... To actually go out there with the lighting and the production and the, the noise, the atmosphere, everything about it, mate, was electric, you know. Um, and that kind of adds to that buzz and that, that you know, the, 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 the energy. And it makes you want to put on a show. It makes you want to fight your heart out, you know what I mean? And um, that's what it's all about. I just buzzed off the whole occasion, you know what I mean? The whole show from start to finish, you know. I've had fights before and I've been at shows where I've been, I felt a bit drained and you end up being there that long that you're drained and you're tired and you feel shit and your legs are heavy and you just don't want to perform like that. And this way, it was, it was total opposite. There were no nerves. I, I do put a lot of it down to my camp and everything we've been through, but we were confident, you know, we were confident in what we'd done, confident in what I'd put myself through, what my coach had put me through. We knew what the outcome was going to be, whether it were in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth round. We knew what the outcome was going to be, um, you know, and that all added to the confidence, you know. Um, on the Saturday, eating my food, rehydrating, getting them carbs in, chilled out, mate, watched Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2, chilled out on my own, you know, just watching films, had a bit of a snooze uh, until it was time to set off, um, you know, and... Um, and that was it, you know, it's uh, quite a, it, it was just from start to finish, mate, a really good professional production um, and well well set up um, and quite proud to be a part of it, to be honest. And like you say, it's it's expanding, it's getting more exciting, there's better fighters coming in, you know, and um, obviously, you know, we don't, I, there's no there's no belt at catch weight you know uh, like 88 kilogram for me so you know like i've said there is talks of me coming down now um you know we have a um you know with with with, with things in the pipeline anyway you know i won't say too much um at this moment in time but um you know we are looking at coming down and start making a statement at uh it'll be light heavy i think so uh so yeah let's see who wants it at that I'll tell you what as well, the, the fight that you're on about, obviously you can't say nothing, but that is a fucking unbelievable fight, by the way. I got told the other day, and mate, yeah. what a fucking fight that is going to be. Oh, did you? <laughs> Do you know what, mate? I, you know, they, they put names out to me. Um, you know, obviously I don't overlook anybody. I don't, I don't overlook anybody. Um, but... The, the the thing is, you can put anybody in, in there with me, um, you know, standing in front of me, mate, and, you know, hand on heart, um, I'll iron him out. Straight up. He's a stepping stone for me, mate. He's a nobody to me, you know. Um, you'll get in there, whether it be one to five rounds, mate, you know. Um, yeah. Makes no odds, mate. I'm there for a reason. I'm there to do a job. And that's, that's the mentality that I've got now. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Stepping stone for me to get to where I want to be. I'll be champion, mate. It's as simple as that. Um, and that's where I'll be. So that's that. That's the mentality I have. That's the mentality that my camp has. 
you know, it took me a long, long time to get a camp around me. You know, trainers, strength and conditioning, nutritionists, um, the support network that you have as a fighter. It took me a long, long time to get that right, you know. Um, and that last camp and the team around me was spot on, 100%, you know. Um, and that proved in the way that I performed and the way that I looked uh, and everything about the day and, and, and you know... Um, and that was that that that's basically the first camp we've done as 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 that team you know and look at look at the result you know against a skilled highly ranked pkb fighter you know um that i put down in the first round and finished him in the second you know um so yeah all we can do mate is get better from that you know and expand as a team and we're always learning off each other as well but i'm very very confident in my team um and where we are gonna go and that's exactly what's gonna happen mate so a big 2024 coming up uh but yeah this is it now you know we need, obviously we can't say too much but time to knuckle down mate. get my head screwed on and that's it like i said i've gone back training i think i've had a week or two off and uh, just enjoying you know a bit of family time and chilling out um obviously i know christmas is around the corner but you know i don't mind putting that on the back burner as such um, until uh, until his kids ironed out, and then we'll celebrate after that. Class. I think this BKFC, mate, will suit you down to the ground with your being able to obviously hit in the clinch, all that stuff with your MMA background, because that's what... Oh, yeah. You, you love the clinch, don't you, and telling the way you fight? Yeah, well, that's it. You know, it's, it's right up my street. You know, it's, it's the old Muay Thai days and the MMA, you know... Um, and it's it, it's just like I said, I, I could do it all. To be fair, you know, I can, I can box at range, you know, I can come inside nice and close, um, you know, but I can get out of there as well. Do you know what I mean? So it's I'll just I'll just do what I want to do. You know what I mean? I like to I like to dominate in there, mate, and pressure, and that's that's exactly what I'll do. Um, you know, like I was saying before with the round ring, it's hard to think where you're going to back them up, you know, um, and, and can you back them up? But that pressure, if you take the centre of that and put that pressure on them, they don't like it, you know, they don't like being on that back foot, um, you know, and if you've got somebody my kind of size coming at you, who's going to rip your head off? It's a different story, you know. Um, so, yeah, but it'll put a lot of people under pressure, that. Yeah, wicked, mate, and... Before we wrap it up, mate, is there anything else that you want to share with us? Any sponsors or anything like that you want to give a big up to? Yes. Um, I have my sponsors that have obviously been with me a long, long time now that obviously I can't do it without them. Um, and they do support me 100%. So I'll just read a list off, mate. I've already got it prepared. Um, Northern Performance, MWA Fencing, CBD Guru, uh, we are PCS. APK9 Training, Ramley Scaffolding, TCG Automotive, Outlaw Gains, Carl Stannard, Brad Foster PT, Aesthetic Intuition, Hair by Shell, um, Jordan Story as well, he's helped me out quite a lot. Um, I've also got my management, HD Global Management, my coach Justin Newell, uh, you know, obviously, everybody at Golden Team, all my sparring partners, obviously, um, I used last time that helped me get that win. Um, hopefully, I'll be using them again this time. Um, but, I've, you know, I've spar sparring partners change every fight, you know. Um, so, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll just see, mate. There's a, there's a big announcement coming, uh, exciting times coming, um, and a big 2024. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm buzzing for it, mate. I really, really am. And uh, time to get that uh, that second win, and then obviously we'll we'll move up from there. Um, like I've said, that belt a bit on my waist, mate. At some point, so that's what's happening. Cushy, mate. We'll stay in touch like we always do now, mate. And obviously, when the news can yeah. be released, uh, we'll get it out there. Jump on another podcast, mate, and get it out for the people. Yeah. Sweet, mate. Yep, can't wait. I really appreciate you coming on, Matty, mate, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening, bro. Yeah, you too, mate. Thanks for having me. See you soon, Matty, mate. Yes, people, listen.
this fight, yeah, that I've heard in the background is going to be a fucking great fight, by the way. It's a fucking great matchup. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Matty the Hammer Hodgson making waves in the BKFC. I'm going to put his Instagram and that in the social media. So his uh, Instagram and Facebook in the description on this video. So go over there, click on it, join his journey on the bare knuckle and support him. And really appreciate everybody who tuned in there. I'll be seeing you tomorrow night. Oh, no, I'm on again tonight. Stay tuned. Good night. God bless people.